Hey everybody, Jason here with Strike 3 Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a hot minute, but uh, been deer hunting. Uh, killed a couple good deer this fall. Uh, one with my bow, one with my gun. And uh, now we're back at the crappie fishing here at Mark Twain Lake. We got a beautiful day. It's like November 22nd. You know, it's been really, really cold the last couple weeks and uh, windy. Uh, today is going to be bluebird skies, high of like 50 degrees. So it's going to be hardly uh, no wind. It's going to be a great day to be on the water. We're going to head to the lake and uh, see if we can catch some crappie for everybody. Thanks for being patient with me uh, while I've been deer hunting. But uh, So now the crappie fishing videos are going to start coming in hot and heavy. As long as the lake don't freeze, we're going to be out. And don't forget to tune in to Mark Twain Lake Fishing Intel for all the up-to-date uh, crappie reports here at Mark Twain Lake. So uh, www.marktwainlakefishingintel.com and let's get to it. Oh yeah. That's alright. The lake's changed a lot since I drove around. It has, it's hasn't it? Lower. Yeah. Pretty low. Is this the lowest you ever seen it? Yeah. Yep. We're gonna put the JB's fish sauce on the wax worm on this plastic uh -huh. so. Oh, I was talking to my camera. That's okay. Well, hopefully he's gonna go kill him a deer. I hope so. I just do a lot of walking. Yeah. That's good exercise. Yeah. Yeah. I take my time. I I never hunted any of this, so I need to run. Yeah, absolutely. That's one way to do it. I'm 72 years old, so how many more years I'm gonna hunt, I don't know. Right. Well, do it while you can. Yep. We just found a mother load of crappie right here. Now, whether they bite or not, I don't know. There's one right there. There's one out of the bunch. He's little though. Bunch down there. There we go. That's a nice crappie. Nice eater crappie here at Mark Twain. It's probably a good nine and a half, nine and three quarter inch crappie right there. So we'll put a few in the box, see if we can get some uh, fresh fillets in the skillet. He's over here. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Let's go in here and get some more. Nice eater right there. Mark Twain Lake Eater. Another nine, nine and a half inch crappie right there. Fish was up in the water column. He was in about six foot of water. If you guys can see that screen right there. He was up in here a little bit. So we're gonna see if we can get another one. I just had lost one before this. There's another one right there. See, they're up in the water column right there. They're just good eater crappie. Good eater crappie. Up in that six foot range. There's another one. Oh, got off. Man. They're feeding right now. I 
there's a lot of fish in there i'm really not watching them attack my jig i mean there's a lot of fish in there i'm seeing them kind of move around they're just all nine to ten inch crappie look like just good eater crappie I've got about three hours today. I've got about another two hours to go. Maybe we can get a nice little limit. There's another one right there. A little better one. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a fat pig right there. Oh, drop came off. That's a nice fish right there. You probably push eleven inches. Nice fish. Well, we've got in some fish right here. There is still short striking a little bit, so I might put a minnow on here in a few minutes just to just to see. There's another short strike. There's one right there. He's a little small. He ain't gonna make the cut. small one too. Let's add a little uh, JB's fish sauce to the mix. I put some on a while ago. Let's reapply it. This is wax worm. And uh, see if uh, that's going to make a difference. There's a lot of short striking going on. Um, but a few of them are eating it and a few of them are short striking. So I'm not going to change colors. I'm just going to put some more JB's fish sauce. Stay at them. I think there's just some bigger fish in there that want to eat. And uh, you, you might have to go through a few small ones to catch a few uh, eaters. So let's get back at it. Right there at the water column, he come right up there at First drop on the JB's fish sauce when I reapplied it. There's one right there. There we go, that made a difference. That's two in a row. Another nice crappie right there. Reapplied the JB's fish sauce on the plastic and I got bit immediately. So, But let's uh, throw this in the box. I think that's number five. Number five. Another one right there. Another nice eater crappie. Nine incher. Oh, yeah. That's another nice fat crappie. 
right there. They're just a good Mark Twain Lake eater right here. That's probably a 10, 10 and a half inch crappie. Beautiful crappie. Fought good. Let's put him in the light well. Good eater. Measure him on this. Nine inches. He's nine, so I'm gonna put him in there and have some fresh crappie. Swallowed that pill head, didn't he? Look at that bone. Just a eater fish, probably nine and a half inches. And he swallowed it. him in the live well he's bleeding a little bit all right well it's warming up I'm gonna get the gorilla grips out time to put them on check them out gorillagripgloves.com they got some nice cold weather gloves too I got a pair in here for when it's cold when I'm running down the lake and even fishing in them. They're great to uh, have this time of year in your boat. So uh, check them out, gorillagripgloves.com. You can also find these fingerless ones at the hunting corner in Monroe City. Nick's got a whole row up over there. So I think they're like $7.99 a pair. Real, real reasonable. Great gloves. Let's go. There's one right there. Oh, yeah. A little better one right there. Nice fish. Another nice 10 inch crappie. Nice eater. In the box he goes. Fresh fried crappie coming up. Another nice eater. Sometimes I've got to let it sit. Sometimes I'm moving it and they're hitting it. So they're, they're hitting it both ways right now today. There's one right there. <laughs> Little one. Still got to go through a bunch of little ones to get some decent eaters, and you know, so I'll throw him back. Well, I just counted them, I got 12. We need three more for a limit. It's about uh, 10 after 2. I've got to be off the water by 3 o'clock or a little after. I've got a ball game to go referee tonight, so uh, let's see if we can get three more and finish out our limit.
there's number 13. I saw him come up and he smoked it. So that's number 13. Let's put him in the box. He'll eat. That's a nine. One more. Well, we'll end the day on that one right there. Just another nice nine and a half inch crappie. Nothing big. Put him in the box. That's number 15. Time to go to the house. I've got a referee ball game tonight anyway, so uh, let me put him in the box and then uh, we'll talk about how we caught him today. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I got 15 in the box. Uh, most of them are between nine and 10. Uh, inches. I got a couple probably in there 11. Just nice eater fish for Mark Twain Lake this time of year. Here we are November 22nd. Um, pretty much deer season uh, ends today as far as the rifle season goes. But uh, there's nobody out on the lake. I was like the, the third uh, truck in the parking lot. Pretty much what I did, I pulled up on some pole timber. Had a bunch of fish on it. Uh, anywhere from uh, 5 foot to 20 foot down there on the bottom. So after the fish became uh, a little less aggressive, then I had to drop the jig down in uh, amongst all them fish and just let it sit, had to dead stick it, and then they'd bite. I might have to dead stick it for five seconds or 10 seconds. You know, after I got a 10 count and I wasn't getting bit, I brought the jig out of the water and I re-dropped it. Uh, so, you know, a little tip, tip that I can give everybody today, if you run into a wad of fish like that and they're being aggressive right off the bat coming up and smoking the jig and they quit, Drop that jig down in the middle of them and just let it sit, dead stick it, and, and I think you'll get some more bites that way. Uh, obviously, um, that's what happened to me today. Overall, great day. Had some fun. Beautiful day, 50 degrees uh, out here. Sun's out. Let me show you my equipment here. It's pretty much... Uh, I use the Arden Finesse 1000 spinning reel. I got the 10-foot Edgar rod. It's a medium-heavy one. Um, I had it paired up with a 15 pound sniping braid, uh, the 8 ounce gold nugget uh, pill head, and I put this, uh, I think it's, I'm not sure the color, it's a Bobby Garland, it's got a little uh, blue and gray glitter with a little white belly, I'll have to look at the color here in a little bit, but uh, that worked great today, and uh, it put some fish in the boat, I did try a minnow, and for some reason they would not touch the minnow, they wouldn't even bump it, so... You got to stick with what works. Plastic worked, which I would like plastic to work all the time because I really don't like minnows. But there's there's times and and places where you have to use minnows, and I will. But if I can catch them on a plastic in the winter time or any time of the year, I will do that. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned because Strike Three Fishing is going to have some more videos throughout the winter as long as the lake don't freeze. And if this lake freezes, we're going to go find another lake that not frozen catch some crappie so thanks again for watching hit that subscribe button hit that bell and we'll see everybody on the next one